IBM just announced they're cutting 8,000 jobs that AI can now do. Amazon eliminated 18,000 positions. Google, 12,000. And if you're watching this thinking, when will it be my turn? You're asking the wrong question. Because while everyone's panicking about these headlines, I discovered something that completely changed my perspective. Sam Altman, yes, the open AI guy, just quietly launched a platform that's posting 15,000 new AI jobs every single week. But here's the twist. These aren't jobs for AI engineers or data scientists. They're for people exactly like you and me. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm revealing exactly what's happening with Sam Altman's AI jobs platform, the one creating opportunities while other companies are cutting. I'll show you the three categories of AI jobs that are desperately hiring right now, with salaries that'll make you do a double take, and most importantly, the unconventional strategy that's getting regular people hired for six-figure AI roles without touching a single line of code. We'll look at real job postings, actual success stories, and I'll give you the exact 30-day plan to position yourself on the winning side of this shift. First, let's expose what this platform really is, because the media is completely missing the story. The platform nobody saw coming. Here's where it gets interesting. While everyone was obsessed with ChatGPT and what OpenAI would release next, Sam Altman was quietly building something that could fundamentally change how we think about employment. This isn't just another job board with AI slapped on it. What we're looking at is a complete reimagining of how human expertise and AI capabilities come together. Think about it this way. Remember when the internet first took off? We didn't just get internet versions of existing jobs. We got entirely new roles, social media managers, SEO specialists, app developers. Jobs that would have sounded like science fiction in 1995. That's exactly what's happening right now with AI, but the transition is happening 10 times faster. The platform Altman's team has been developing operates on a simple but revolutionary premise. Instead of AI replacing workers, it's creating a massive demand for what I call AI translators, people who bridge the gap between what AI can do and what businesses actually need. And wait until you see the salary ranges for these positions. We're not talking about entry-level grunt work here. What makes this particularly fascinating is the timing. Just last month, major tech companies announced they're desperately searching for people who understand AI implementation, not just AI development. Microsoft alone posted over 400 positions requiring AI familiarity, but not programming skills. Google? They're hiring AI ethicists, AI trainers, and something called prompt engineers, which, by the way, can pay up to $335,000 a year. Yes, you heard that right. The three AI job categories. Exploding right now. Now let me break down the three categories of AI jobs that are absolutely exploding on this platform, because understanding these is crucial for positioning yourself correctly. First, we have AI implementation specialists. These aren't coders or data scientists. They're people who understand business processes and can identify where AI tools can create massive efficiency gains. One company I researched is paying $120,000 for someone to basically figure out how to use ChatGPT and Claude to streamline their customer service. The main requirement? Understanding customer service, not programming. The person they hired previously managed a call center. No tech background whatsoever. The second category, and this one's my favorite, is AI content strategists. These roles are perfect for anyone with a creative or marketing background. Companies are realizing that AI can generate content, but it needs human oversight, strategy, and that special sauce that makes content actually connect with people. I'm seeing roles where people are getting paid $80,000 to $150,000 to essentially be the human in the loop for AI-generated content. One job posting literally said, we need someone who can argue with ChatGPT and win. But here's the third category that nobody's talking about yet, AI ethics and compliance officers. With AI regulations coming fast, 
companies are scrambling to hire people who can ensure their AI usage is ethical, legal, and aligned with upcoming regulations. The fascinating part? Most of these roles are being filled by people from legal, HR, or philosophy backgrounds. One philosophy PhD I know just landed a $200,000 role at a Fortune 500 company doing exactly this. The pattern here is clear. These aren't traditional tech jobs. They're hybrid roles that value human judgment, creativity, and domain expertise over pure technical skills. And that's exactly why the opportunity is so massive right now. The skills that actually matter. Okay, so you're probably thinking, this sounds great, but what skills do I actually need? This is where most people get it completely wrong. They rush to learn Python or take a machine learning course when the real valuable skills are much more accessible. Let me tell you about Sarah. She was a project manager at a marketing agency, worried about AI making her obsolete. Instead of panicking, she spent three weeks learning something simple but powerful. Prompt engineering. Not coding, not complex algorithms, just how to communicate effectively with AI tools. She practiced turning vague business requirements into clear, actionable AI prompts. Within a month, she was the go-to person in her company for AI implementation. Three months later, she got recruited for a role paying 40% more than her previous position. The skills that actually matter right now fall into what I call the translation stack. First, you need conversational AI literacy, understanding what tools like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini can and cannot do. This isn't about technical knowledge. It's about practical application. Spend a week using different AI tools for real tasks. Try to break them. Find their limits. That hands-on experience is worth more than any certification. Second, you need domain expertise in literally any field. Are you good at sales? Perfect. Companies need people who can train AI on effective sales conversations. Experienced in healthcare? Hospitals are desperate for people who can implement AI while understanding patient care. Your existing expertise isn't obsolete. It's actually becoming more valuable when combined with AI knowledge. The third crucial skill is what I call output refinement. AI generates decent first drafts, but transforming that into exceptional, context-appropriate output. That's where humans shine. Companies are realizing that someone who can take AI output from 70% to 100% quality is incredibly valuable. And here's the kicker. This skill is completely learnable through practice. But wait until you hear about the fourth skill that's becoming unexpectedly valuable. The unconventional approach. That's working. This is the part where conventional career advice goes out the window. The people getting hired for these high-paying AI roles aren't following the traditional playbook of certifications and formal education. They're doing something much smarter. My friend Marcus is the perfect example. Six months ago, he was a customer success manager making $65,000 a year. Today, he's an AI implementation lead at a SaaS company making $140,000. His secret? He didn't take a single course. Instead, he started solving real problems with AI at his current job and documenting everything. Here's exactly what he did. Every week, he picked one annoying, repetitive task in his department. Then he'd spend his lunch break figuring out how to automate or improve it using AI tools. Customer onboarding emails that took 30 minutes? He got it down to five minutes with ChatGPT templates. Monthly reporting that took two days. Automated with Claude and some clever prompting. But here's the genius part. He documented every single process, created simple guides his teammates could follow, and tracked the time and money saved. Within three months, he had a portfolio showing he'd saved his company 200 hours per month and improved customer response times by 40%. When he applied for AI roles, he didn't talk about what he knew. He showed what he'd already done. That portfolio was worth more than any degree or certification could ever be. The pattern I'm seeing repeatedly is this. Companies don't care about your credentials in AI. They care about your ability to use AI to solve real problems. And the beautiful thing is, 
you can start building that track record today, right in your current role. Pick any process that annoys you, figure out how AI can improve it, document the results. Boom. You've just created a case study that's worth its weight in gold during interviews. Where to actually find these opportunities? Now let's get tactical about where these opportunities actually exist, because they're not always where you'd expect to find them. Obviously, there's Sam Altman's platform itself, which is still in beta, but accepting applications. But here's what most people miss. The real goldmine isn't in tech companies or startups. It's in traditional industries that are just now waking up to AI's potential. Manufacturing companies, law firms, healthcare organizations, real estate companies. They're all desperately seeking people who can bridge their industry knowledge with AI capabilities. I've been tracking job postings for the past month, and here's what's fascinating. LinkedIn shows over 15,000 new AI-related roles posted weekly, but only about 20% require technical backgrounds. The rest? They want industry experts who understand AI applications. Even more interesting, companies posting these roles often don't even use the term AI in the job title. They'll call it Process Innovation Manager, or Digital Transformation Specialist, or my favorite, Future of Work Lead. The smart approach is to look for companies in your existing industry that are just starting their AI journey. They need someone who speaks their language and understands their specific challenges. A retail expert who understands AI applications in inventory management is way more valuable to Walmart than a pure AI engineer who knows nothing about retail. Here's a pro tip that's been working incredibly well. Instead of applying to posted jobs, reach out directly to companies in your industry that aren't yet advertising AI roles. Show them what's possible. I know someone who literally created their own position by demonstrating to a law firm how AI could revolutionize their document review process. They created the role and the salary package. The mistake everyone's making. But here's where I need to give you a reality check. Because I see people making this mistake constantly, and it's costing them massive opportunities. Everyone's so focused on learning about AI that they're forgetting to actually use it. They're taking courses, getting certifications, reading papers, basically everything except gaining hands-on experience. It's like learning to swim by reading books about swimming. You might understand the theory, but you'll still sink when you hit the water. The people getting hired aren't the ones with the most certificates. They're the ones who can sit down in an interview and say, let me show you how I used AI to solve this specific problem. They pull out their laptop and demonstrate real time how they think about AI implementation. That's what gets you hired. I met a hiring manager last week who told me something that should be a wake up call for everyone. She said, I interviewed 50 candidates for an AI strategy role. 45 of them could explain what AI is. Only five could show me what they've actually done with it. Guess who got callbacks? The hands-on experience gap is real, and it's your biggest opportunity if you're willing to actually get your hands dirty. Another massive mistake? People are waiting for permission to start using AI in their current roles. They're waiting for their company to roll out an official AI strategy or provide training. Meanwhile, the smart ones are already experimenting, already building their portfolio of AI wins. By the time their company officially adopts AI, they're already the resident expert. Your 30-day action plan. All right, let's make this real with a specific 30-day plan you can start today. Not tomorrow, not next week. Today. Week 1. Pick three AI tools and use them for everything. ChatGPT for writing. Claude for analysis. Perplexity for research. Your goal isn't to become an expert. It's to understand their strengths and limitations through actual use. Document one specific way each tool surprised you, either positively or negatively. Week 2. Identify the three most time-consuming or frustrating tasks in your current role. For each one, spend two hours experimenting with how AI could improve it. Even if you only achieve a 10% improvement, document it. You're building your case study portfolio. 
One woman I know did this with expense reports and saved her company 15 hours per month. That single example got her three job offers. Week three. This is where it gets interesting. Create something that demonstrates AI value in your specific domain. If you're in sales, build an AI-powered email sequence. In HR, design an AI-assisted interview process. In operations, develop an AI workflow for a common problem. The key is making it specific to your industry. Generic examples don't impress anyone. Week 4. Start putting yourself out there. Share your experiments on LinkedIn. Join AI communities in your industry. Reach out to one company that interests you with a specific idea for how AI could solve their problems. You're not asking for a job yet. You're starting conversations. But here's what's crazy. About 30% of these conversations turn into job opportunities within 60 days. The beauty of this plan is that you're building real skills while creating proof of your capabilities. You're not studying AI, you're becoming an AI practitioner. And that's exactly what the market is desperately seeking right now. The window is open. Now look, I'm going to be straight with you. This opportunity won't last forever. Right now, we're in this perfect sweet spot where AI is powerful enough to create massive value, but still requires human expertise to implement effectively. Companies are willing to pay premium salaries for people who can bridge this gap. But this window? It's maybe 18 to 24 months before the market saturates and these skills become table stakes rather than differentiators. The people taking action now aren't necessarily smarter or more technical than you. They're just moving while others are still debating. They're building their AI track record while others are reading about AI. They're getting hired for roles that didn't exist a year ago while others are worried about their jobs becoming obsolete. Sam Altman's platform is just the tip of the iceberg. The real transformation is in how work itself is being redefined, and you have a choice. You can watch this transformation happen, or you can be part of it. The tools are accessible, the opportunities are real, and the only thing standing between you and these opportunities is taking that first step. So here's my challenge. Pick one task, just one, that you'll improve with AI this week. Document it. Share it. Build on it. Because six months from now, you'll either be one of the people benefiting from this AI revolution, or you'll be one of the people wondering why you waited. The question isn't whether AI will change your career. It's whether you'll be driving that change or just along for the ride. The choice is yours, and the time to make it is now. If this opened your eyes to opportunities you hadn't considered, make sure to subscribe, because I'm dropping a video next week showing the exact prompting techniques that six-figure AI roles are looking for, including the actual prompts that got people hired. And if you're already experimenting with AI in your role, drop a comment below with what you're working on. The community here is incredible for sharing ideas and opportunities. Remember, we're all figuring this out together, and the fastest way to level up is to learn from each other. I'll see you in the next one.